my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through Before we get started, I'd like to open us up in a little bit of prayer. So let's bow our heads, uh, maybe grab a hand of a family member that's sitting close by, and let's go ahead and dedicate this year to the Lord. Dear God, thank you so much for all of these kids and their families. Thank you for this beautiful new school year that we're starting together. I know things are a little crazy right now, but we commit all that to you. Please ease our fears and ease our tensions and prepare us for a beautiful year ahead. Thank you so much for being with us and walking through this with us. We thank you. We lift you up. We are so, so glad that we are walking through this life with you. Keep us safe. Keep our brains ready to learn and bring us into this school year ready, prepared, and worry-free. Thank you again. In your name, amen. Hey, third graders. Welcome to Back to School. We are gonna spend a little time together talking about some of the things that you're gonna be seeing, uh, that you're gonna be picking up, and kind of getting you a little acquainted tonight. So, grab your family, come on, and let's check it all out together. With each morning, I'll rise and sing. My God's love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are my light, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. Shining in the darkness, I will follow you. Oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse. I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore. moment and show you the things that you will be picking up when you come on Sunday. So Sunday will be our first pickup day. Um, I will be here on campus from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So come on down, uh, bring the kids if you want. We can say hi really quick and you can grab your materials. The materials you'll be picking up are going to be your toolbox. Your toolbox has your child's name on it and inside you will find their scissors, their eraser, their crayons, their colored pencils, and a glue stick. We'll definitely communicate. If you need more supplies, just let me know. They will also be picking up a journal. We will use this journal for a few different things uh, throughout the year or how long we're doing this distance learning, but this is kind of like where they have some scratch paper too. You'll be grabbing your science book. You'll be grabbing your social studies book and that's the only textbooks you'll be taking home with you. Now, you also will have a couple of folders on your space or in your space. Uh, the first folder, it says, welcome to third grade. This is mostly for mom and dad. Inside this folder, you will find the, um, most of the things that we've already emailed. Uh, but one thing that's really important is this parent questionnaire. So it's really important for me to get to know your child and it's a little harder to do with distance learning. So as much information as you're comfortable giving me in that survey is greatly appreciated. Uh, we'll also talk about some of the things that you'll find in this folder a little later in the video. Now this folder, this folder is for your child. They will find some tools in this folder that will help them throughout distance learning. So we have our schedule in here their uh, QR code, which is for Class Dojo. So this, this is how if they get logged out of a device or maybe they need to use a different device, they can go ahead and use this QR code to get them logged into their student account. Mom and dad, if you ever lose this, I can tell you how to access it from your parent account too. These are um, our tips for successful Zoom sessions and we'll talk a little bit more about these also in a little bit. Here's a reading tracker. It is so important that your student read. And students, if you're listening, it's so important that you read. Here's a great place for you to log those times that you sit quietly, reading to yourself, reading to a younger sibling, or even reading to mom and dad. I really would like to encourage you to read for at least 20 minutes. 
a couple days a week. You have a tool that helps you keep your paper lined up, where the margins are, where you should head your paper, uh, just some helpful tips there. This we will talk more about in a little bit in class, um, but these are some editing marks that we'll use this year as we start developing our writing. And then our multiplication chart. We are going to learn our multiplication facts, and I'm gonna show you so many ways to use this excellent resource that's in your folder. I recommend keeping all of your work in this folder. You can maybe use the front pocket here for things that you still need to do. Maybe move them to the back pocket when they're finished. This is a great place for you to hold on to your work throughout the week. Now, the last folder that you're going to pick up is your uh, like homework folder. This folder will come back and forth to school. So every Friday when you drop off your work, please drop it off in this folder. And then you will grab a new folder with the next week and we'll keep going back and forth with the folders. So this folder right here will have all your work for the first week of distance learning. So go ahead, maybe check it out, see what it looks like, and then we'll start getting... Again, welcome to third grade. You should have some emails from me. And in these emails, you will find some very important information about the upcoming school year. Uh, we're going to start talking a little bit about some of those things that you've seen in your email. And if you have questions, please bring those questions to me on Sunday when you pick up your students' things. You will have access to this slideshow uh, at any point during the year. I will send you the link to it, and it is a great tool to refer back to throughout the year. I'd also like to take a moment to let you know that the links that you see over on the side where it says facts, it looks like a little YouTube logo, the Bay Bulldogs logo, and the Class Dojo logo, those all work and can take you directly to the websites. All right. There are going to be times where you need to get a hold of me. The best way to message me is actually through Class Dojo. I will get those messages instantly. They come um, all throughout the day and it works kind of similar to a social media platform. So I get notifications on my phone. Um, I check it all the time and I'm logged in throughout the day. Uh, the, another way to get a hold of me is through my email, leanna at baybulldogs.com. Although I will let you know that sometimes those emails take about an hour to reach us through the server. So it's not always the quickest way to get a hold of me. Once you've picked up your things on Sunday, I'd love you for, for you to take a few moments to fill out the parent questionnaire and look through all those materials in the folder. There is a lot of information in there, like I told you, that you've already probably seen. But these are some hard copies that you can hold on to or maybe even put the schedule up on the fridge. Again, please fill out this parent questionnaire and return it with your child's first week of school uh, packets on the next Friday, so the 21st. Uh, this is a great way for me to get to know your child a little bit better uh, with us not being in the classroom. A little bit about me, I know I sent you a little flyer about me already, but a little more about me. Uh, my mom and I came to Calvary, uh, which is now the Bay Church, in 1992, and it has remained our home. There's a picture of me and some of the girls that I grew up with here at this church, um, and our missionettes, uh, which was a program that we graduated from when we were young. Uh, my husband and I will also be celebrating our 10th year of marriage this October, and after much praying, we were blessed with our now 7-year-old, who's going to be in first grade this year, for my 30th birthday. This is my 7th year here at BCS, and my 3rd year in 3rd grade. This is my dream job. I have wanted to be a 3rd grade teacher since before I was even in 3rd grade myself, so... Um, I'm very excited to get started, and I'm looking forward to the fun, yet challenging way that this year is going to unfold. If you haven't already, check out those clickable links over on the side uh, and get started uh, getting, blah, sorry, getting connected to our different resources in the class. Uh, using facts, if you haven't already uh, signed up for RunWeb, this is a great place 
for you to uh, view lesson plans. They'll be updated there and check your students' grades. I'll be able to see if they have an assignment missing um, and how they've done on the other assignments that they've turned in. Class Dojo is another place to get connected. Please make sure that you have signed up for your parent account and you have connected your child. Uh, there are instructions in your folder of how to set up your parent account as well as instructions in your child's folder of how to access their student account. You will need access to both of these. Uh, through Class Dojo, you'll get class updates. You'll have uh, instant access to our Zoom session links, and you can easily message me, and your students can message me as well. Now, they will need to message me from their, your parent account, but please encourage them, if they have a question, to just send me a message themselves. They are more than welcome to do that. Something else that you will have to access is a thing called portfolios. But what are portfolios and where do I find this? From your student's account, you will click on this little space right here where it's circled. It says no activities right now. This is my son's account. But when there are activities assigned, that arrow will be blue and you will be able to click on that arrow and access the assignments that are assigned through portfolios. Portfolios might be a little journal entry where your student needs to type up an answer to a question. It might be a picture that they take of their journal that they've completed an activity, or it might be a video. Uh, the videos will be used for uh, memory verse and spelling test for the time being. So familiarize yourself with that. Your student can also send me videos and pictures of anything that they are doing at home as well through that uh, portfolios area. Our Zoom sessions. We are Zooming Monday through Friday. We will Zoom from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Please be on time. Please be dressed and please be ready to get started. I will do my best to log in a few minutes before 9, so you're welcome to try to start logging in. It may be 8.55 and 10.25 in order to get set, get ready, and get your materials out. If you uh, do not have um, this meeting ID posted somewhere, uh, here's another great place where it is located. It is the same meeting ID for all of our Zooms and the same passcode. So maybe jot that number down somewhere. It's also in your folders. It's in your students' folders. Um, and I will also be sending you these clickable links. You can also go ahead and click where it says Zoom from this slideshow to also access our Zoom sessions. All right, let's talk a little bit about Zoom session etiquette. So we are going to ask you to please dress appropriately. You do not need to come in uniform, but you should look nice for the day. Try to avoid wearing pajamas. It's really great for us to get up, get dressed, and get ready for school. Plus, it'll make it a lot easier to transition if we're able to come back to the classroom. Number two, be on time for the call and be seated in a workable environment. Well, what's a workable environment? This could be your kitchen table. It could be your dining room table. Maybe you have a desk, or maybe you have a nice place set up where you are able to work, to stay focused, and there's not a lot of distractions. I would really like to encourage you to not work from your bed. That place is a nice, cozy place and a nice, safe place for us to go when we're feeling a little overwhelmed, but we should definitely try to avoid doing our schoolwork from our beds. Number three. Please mute your microphone and raise your hand for questions. There is a raise your hand function on Zoom, and we'll work on that with the students during our first session, uh, but we'll just try to use the raise your hand function to eliminate a lot of people trying to talk at the same time. That way I'm able to hear everyone and everyone's able to hear me, um, and I can answer everyone's questions. Number four, no virtual backgrounds during a class call. 
We will try to schedule some Zoom times that are just for chatting with our classmates, and during those times, you're more than welcome to have a virtual background. But I really ask that during our regular Zoom sessions that you avoid putting on a virtual background. It's distracting and it can cause us to not be totally focused and we don't have a ton of time so I want to make sure that we are able to use all of our time uh, and, we're not, and we're free of distractions. Number five, your Zoom name needs to be your child's name. So please help them set this up. It's easier for me as I'm getting to know all their faces and all of their names as well. Um, if they do go by a nickname, then that is okay, but it needs to be the nickname that they would like me to call them. Uh, for example, uh, maybe Jeremiah would go by Maya. That is okay, but avoid any other silly uh, nicknames or um, any silly names in general. Try to use your name. Number six, please have your camera on during the call. I need to be able to see your bright, shiny faces. So please make sure your cameras are on. This is a great way for me to see if you're understanding or possibly see if maybe you're struggling a little bit. And it's a great way for me to see if you're on task. Number seven, no eating or drinking during our calls. Water's okay, so you can have a water bottle close by. But make sure that you've finished your breakfast and you've finished your snack before logging on to our Zoom calls. And finally, number eight, the chat will be used for instructions from the teacher only. This will not be a place for you guys to chat socially. All right, that all makes sense? Think central. This is something new. You can click this link up here at the top, this little box that says Think Central, and start perusing this online resource. You will need to find the district private, and then you will need to locate our school, Bay Christian School. Your child's folder has a sticker inside that has their username and password. This uh, Think Central is something that's going to go with our math curriculum, and it's going to uh, give us access to, to some nice online resources, as well as a place for your child to do some extra practice if the concept is a little more difficult, and we'll be doing some of our assessments through this website. So go ahead and check that out, uh, and if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me, and we can walk through figuring out some things together. All right, your envelopes. These are the envelopes that have your students work in them. Remember that pick up and pick up and drop off is on Fridays from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. each week. You'll drop off the folder with the previous wor week's work and you'll pick up a new folder with the next week's work. Inside this folder, you will also find a weekly newsletter that will have important dates, the spelling list, and the memory verse. Your student's work is also stapled by subject to help them feel able and capable of working through this with minimal help from mom and dad. So it should be organized in a way that they start, as the weeks go on, feel more comfortable um, grabbing at what they need and knowing what they're looking for. Folders. Let's organize while learning. This is the red folder that I showed you a little earlier in the video. It has pockets to hold your to-do and done assignments, the tools for you to refer to, as well as your Class Dojo and Think Central login information. Don't lose this folder. Use this folder to keep you organized. It's going to be very helpful, especially if maybe one day you work at home, maybe another day you have to go to grandma's. Keeping all of your stuff in one place will help you stay organized and it'll help you not feel so overwhelmed. All right, our schedule. Keep this page handy in order to prepare for each day's lessons. Your schedule is in your red folder. Mom and dad have schedules. Uh, and our schedule will be uh, posted on our Class Dojo page. Before your Zoom session, make sure that you check the schedule to see what subjects we will be covering. And make sure you bring those books and packets to your Zoom session with you. Uh, we only have about 30 minutes of instruction and guided practice for each subject. 
and then you will also expect to spend maybe 15 to 30 minutes doing some independent practice on the subject matter that's been covered during the Zooms. This independent practice may include a worksheet, it might be a Google form, or it might be a class dojo portfolio assignment. But you shouldn't be spending any more than about 15 to 30 minutes on this independent practice. If you're finding that your student is spending more than this amount of time, please make sure you email me because I might need to adjust what I am sending home. All right, don't forget, every day you should study your memory verse. You will have a video quiz on Friday. You should be reviewing your spelling words. Again, we are still taking quizzes on Fridays. I'd love for you to read for about 20 minutes um, a day. If you're not reading for 20 minutes a day, maybe start with 20 minutes for like four days and work your way up to every day. And then you should also be practicing your math facts. Right now, I would start with reviewing addition and subtraction. You can use flashcards, or you can have mom or dad or a grown-up just spout out some math problems and see if you can recall the answers quickly. Uh, as we move through the year, we'll shift from adding and subtracting to multiplication and division. All right, there are also on-site sessions that you can take advantage of. Included in your parent folder is a chart of these optional afternoon on-site sessions. These include daycare, PE, and tutoring. If you'd like your child to attend any of these options, please use the included VisiBook directions. This page is also in your parent folder to sign up for the sessions you'd like your child to attend. You can Okay, you probably have some questions but it's hard for you to ask them from this video. So, my suggestion is go ahead and write those questions down and bring them with you on Sunday, August 16th, that's this Sunday, between 12 and 4 p.m. I will be here on site to answer those questions, to look over materials with you, um, and ease any fears, or I hope I can ease any fears that you might be having. All right, we are ready. We are going to start this school year with a bang. It's going to be amazing. So, what I love to tell my students when we're getting ready to embark on an assignment or a project is ready, set, go.